Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna focus on plumbing. To be more specific, we had some parts come in. We are gonna do the drain assembly on the shower, the wet bath shower. I will come back into the showroom after I'm done showing you how I remove this. It's not gonna be an easy task, but it's pretty rusted and, and, and rotted and uh, corroded, but we'll get it off and then I'll show you what I purchased online as opposed to what I purchased from my um, professional plumbing supply company. You know, who wants to put something in and then like a year from now you find out that the plastic cracked or dry rotted or, you know, what, whatever could possibly happen. You just gotta be careful because a lot of the stuff online is plastic. And uh, when it comes to a drain, itself, the body itself, I really would not recommend plastic. You know, a chrome drain, usually these things are solid brass, and then what they do is, um, people think of solid brass as it's that brass color, but it's not. It's solid brass, and then it's electroplated, or it's covered like a car bumper in chrome. I wanted a black one. Um, I don't think black's gonna be that accessible, so we'll go with the chrome, it's not gonna kill me. Um, but it's it's brass plated chrome and it, it's gonna last so let's jump right to it and uh hopefully um we'll get this out it it is corroded it's gonna be a little tricky but we'll get it out okay so if you guys can see i think you can there is the drain assembly right there underneath uh it's got some thread showing i already removed the bottom collar off of the trap the trap is that s or c shaped um elbow that you see tank that fills up with water and it creates a water trap so the air or the gases cannot pass back through the drain and make the coach smell all right so i'm gonna move this back and i think you'll be able to see so right now you're looking at the bottom of the drain so what's happening is i have to get to this I have to hold these these threads and then take off this nut. Okay guys, so we're in the showroom and I just wanted to bring this piece in. This is what we just removed from underneath the shower. So this part here is called the tailpiece. This slides within this um, nut assembly. So when you loosen this, right? This is a compression fitting. All right, so there's the tailpiece. See how it slides in and out? And as you tighten this nut, it tightens the compression fitting and makes this harder to slide up and down. Now what happens is, then you'd have to jump across and go to the next set of threads. And that would be right there. Now I'm on the threads. The problem is, this thickness is not close enough to the bottom of the fiberglass shower. So the nut falls right into this void where it can't tighten. So I had a little dilemma. So what I did was I took a piece, I know it's getting a little more involved than just swapping it out, but. I took a piece of one and a half inch coupler, PVC coupler, and I cut it and I made it about a half inch wide. And then the bezel nut under that will then make up that distance and cover the threads that aren't there on the spline. 